If I had an iPhone, I would just make vines. That would that would be it. I would just I would make some really nice grape vines so I could grow some grapes. Jokes are a thing I shouldn't create. So I was talking with this really great teacher of mine and we were discussing Beowulf and how because of his fortune and because of you know the fact that he's this really strong heroic man that always wins he thinks he's always going to win if that makes sense he has a lot of pride he doesn't know what it's like to be vulnerable he doesn't know what it's like to struggle or fail and he ends up dying at the end he ends up you know the dragon defeats him or whatever and it's still sort of ambiguous to me as to whether or not he dies heroically because I feel like his intentions for all of his battles, for Grendel and Grendel's mother and the dragon, I feel like they were a little bit off. I think Beowulf is blind to a lot of things. And Rothgar kind of warms a- He warms Beowulf with his fuzzy arms. No, he warns Beowulf about this. He says, yo man, we Danish people, We've like we've got it going on. We're pretty lucky. We're pretty fortunate. We're we're good. So don't overween because of this, and don't let your pride drive your decision making, or you're gonna fail in a bad way. So yeah, because Beowulf was always sort of mildly successful. I don't think he ever really stopped to think about, you know, what are my intentions? What am I doing? Am I gonna fail? Uh, is there something I should do different with my life? He never really stopped to think and just be like, yo, maybe I should listen to this Rothgar guy. So then I think he kind of hits the ground hard when he dies. You know, that's just, that's my opinion. I'm just a kid. Uh, uh, if you, if you are more intelligent than I am, please give me your opinion so I can think about it more. But anyway, I think this connects well with the Power of Vul Vulnerability video because Breen Brown talks about opening yourself up to new experiences and that vulnerability that comes with new experiences and taking risks. Because if you don't do those things, then you'll never learn and you'll never be really, really successful and enlightened. You know, I don't think Beowulf was ever really enlightened. So I have this really good friend, and she's currently sort of struggling right now because she's experiencing the discomfort that comes from allowing herself to be vulnerable. Green Brown talks about investing in relationships and having the courage to put all of yourself into a relationship and allowing yourself to care about someone, allowing yourself to love someone, allowing yourself to want to get to know someone and be there for them. And this friend of mine is doing this. She feels all of these things, but she's getting nothing back and it hurts her. However, I have to applaud her because at least she's taking a risk. At least she's caring and being empathetic and wanting to know who this person is because eventually you know person x is going to give all of that back and it's just going to be such a real and genuine relationship and it's going to be so great but if she doesn't experience this failure this current discomfort she's never going to get there if she never takes these uncomfortable steps she's never going to go anywhere Saying I love you first is not comfortable. And it's especially uncomfortable when person X is like, I don't care. You know, that's, that hurts. That, that takes its toll on your heart. However, if you never take that risk again, you can't expect someone to ever say it back. My dad has this great saying. He says, you have to send postcards to receive postcards. And I was like, Dad, that is so foolish. Why would I ever talk to people? I mean, come on. That's not the way to live your life. And then one time, I really wanted to be someone's friend, and I was like, oh my god, remember that one thing that your dad said? Oh my god, remember that? Remember when he said that thing? Oh my god, you should do that thing, you should do that thing. And then I asked them to get coffee with me. And now they are one of my best friends of all time. And they are 
just an incredible human being, and I'm so glad that I did that. You know, understanding Rothgar's words was not something that Beowulf wanted to do. But maybe if he did, he would have different intentions when it came to saving the world. So allow yourself to be vulnerable, allow yourself to care deeply, allow yourself to love wholly. That's what she says a lot. Allow yourself to learn something that makes you sort of uncomfortable because you didn't already know it. Allow yourself to take risks and be brave and courageous and do things that are sort of outside, outside of the box because eventually you're going to win. It's going to be a really great win. And it's going to feel better than any win you've ever won before you allowed yourself to do things with your life. So that's it. It's significantly darker now than it was... I don't know how long I've been working on this. 9% battery! That's news! Okay, time for me to go. Good luck, and I wish you well. <laughs>